Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Help support my channel. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live streaming because YouTube policy that won't let me go live until I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all the folks out there that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, please take this moment now with helping me. Click subscribe. Next, click the bell. And next, click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Plus, click the thumbs up button and every time you watch my videos. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on either my Patreon or PayPal links. If you join my Patreon page, then you'll get early access to these videos 24 hours before they're posted on the YouTube and lots more. If you prefer just leaving a small tip, click on PayPal. Either way, then you get that warm sense of satisfaction years down the line knowing that you helped me become a successful YouTuber. Saturday, April 16th, 2.25 p.m. You watched my past two videos I released. One was on the Dow Jones Industrial Average 30 stocks. The other was on the S&P 500 indexes and sectors. There's a takeaway in each of those. Briefly, what it is is showing what's going on. If rotation out of some stocks into other stocks, sector rotation, institu institutions are rotating out of stocks, not the stock market, just out of certain sectors, industries. Well, in each sector, there's several industries, okay? So this video, very important video, hopefully you'll watch the whole way through, is the financial sector. Financial sector, we're gonna go over eight industries. That being said, there are some people that make monthly deposits more often or less often throughout the year to have other people manage their money. Yep. And there's some people that are retail investors that manage their own money for, again, for portfolio investing. Well, those two past videos I showed were very diversified in the sectors and single stocks. And by then, watching both of those, logically, you should have a takeaway of where the money's rolling out of and where the money's rolling into. You may not understand exactly all why, or maybe you grasp some of it why. But here in this financial video, since I'm going to go over a wide range of industries within the financial, we're going to break it down and you can see clearly <laughs> where the money's rolling out of and where it's going. And take away where it's going, it's going where it costs most people more money out of their income. Yep, so that may mean you have less discretionary income for things that you might consider as entertainment or of extra value. So we're gonna start off here with the asset management, asset management. What's asset management is when you invest your money in an institution that you're giving the right to manage your money. Let me clarify this. There's other key words some of them use to be slick. Yeah, asset management, the practice of increasing total wealth on, over time by acquiring, maintaining, trading investments that have the potential to grow in value. Well, you could do that yourself, that formula. You don't have to have other people do it. So asset management professionals perform this service for others. But again, as a retail investor, you could do it yourself. Well, some of these asset management businesses, they'll call themselves portfolio managers, financial advisors, a lot of them don't have skin in the game, meaning that they're not investing in those financial instruments directly with their income. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Why would you be investing in a financial instrument if the person that's soliciting it to you is not doing the same? As well, why would you hire someone to manage your money if they're going to take a percentage of your capital every month, every year, even if your investment loses that month, that quarter, that year, they're still gonna take a percentage of your income. 
that's really insane when you think about it. Yeah. You're rewarding somebody for bad performance of your hard earned money. Well, there's plenty of people that do that every month. Yep. Every month. And they're not looking at their investments to see how they're performing. Currently, they might wait till the every three months and once a year. But you watching these past videos understand that you could get out of your bad investments and go into winners yesterday, last month already. Okay, so let's start off here looking at the asset management. We're going to look at weekly charts. Here's a company, BlackRock. Have you ever heard of them? BlackRock. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Extremely bearish for the year. Huge sell off the past week. Not good. Not good. And guess what? They manage other people's money. And they're still being paid to have a loser stock of themselves manage other people's money. Well, huge decline. Here's the low last year. We already took it out before. Very likely going back down there. And there's a lot of people have this company manage their money. <laughs> Get out of it. Another one, Bank of New York Mellon. Here's the high for the year. And look at this past week, new low for the year. Not good. Inside the range of last year. Yeah, really bad. And there's a gap here. Yep, gap there. Most likely going to get filled. Might even happen this year. Let's go to the next one. Blackstone. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Small trading range. Again, looks like distribution. Again, a lot of these companies are having earnings soon. So they're going to prop them up for a few days or a few weeks in that hard rollover. Yep, so massive whipsaw all in here. Again, lower highs. That's not good. Invesco. I used to have them a long time ago. I, well, I used to invest their mutual funds in the 90s. So I learned to manage my own money. I took the chance to manage my own money. Yep. So here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Inside candle, declining. And they're one of the big ones that manage other people's money. Look at that. Consolidation, breakdown, consolidation, consolidation, breakdown. Making staircase pattern lower low since last year. Early last year. Because you look at some of these, they did it late last year or some way to the late early this year to roll over. Well, there was a clue. This one rolled over early. So plenty of time to got out of it. Another one, T. Rowe Price also used to have their mutual funds. A long time ago. Yep, new low. <clears throat> no, sorry. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Hard sell off. Where's the low of last year? <laughs> Ready took it out. Not good. State Street Corporation, huge sell-off already. New low for the year, really bad. Again, these ones I'm showing you are so uh, big percentage of the United States. People are contributing to these monthly. There's so many better choices, yeah. So here's the low of last year and major panic. Look at this huge red candles, huge panicking. Not good, also a gap likely get filled. So those alone, that's just one industry within the financial. Again, that's the asset management. Let's go on to the next group. We're going to the banks diversified. Banks diversified. Again, these are the big, big banks. <clears throat> A lot of these banks, states, counties, cities, use for payroll for their employees, or to process payments from their expenses. Yeah. So here's another one, JP Morgan. There's a high for the year. Look at this, new low for the year. New low for the year, terrible. Here's the gap, got blue. And that's where it's on its way. It's also got a swing low, outstanding, outstanding. Being sarcastic, terrible. Interest rates go higher, typically banks go higher. Again, there's a lot of problems with these banks. Bank of America, new low. So let's take away this yellow horizontal line, swing low, took that out. And here's the new low, really bad. Me personally, I don't bank. Sorry, I don't use checking savings accounts. 
with banks. I use credit unions. Yeah, credit unions have checking and savings account money markets. They're smaller. They're on a different regulatory body where banks are the FDIC and the um, credit unions are different. Yep. They treat you better, most of them. But remember, not all credit unions are the same. So do your due diligence. But I think maybe like 10 years ago, I walked away from all banks and only used credit unions. Walked away from a few credit unions too because they had new leadership and the new leadership became bad. Let's go on to the next. Hotel, Sierra, Bravo, Charlie. Interesting. There's a low for the year. There's a high for the year. It's an exhalation phase. Looks like it's a golfing candle. Looks like a bearish golfing. Really bad. Excuse me. Sorry about that. A bearish golfing. You'd be looking for a break of the low of the current week for a potential trade idea on the downside. Yep, it's really struggling. Whiskey Foxtrot, Charlie Wells Fargo. Bad child. Yep, new low for the year. It was a rising child last year. Yep. Last year was a big rising child. Remember, they created a lot of problems by choice to goose up their stock. Shamefully. Yep. Screwing veterans, playing funny games with mortgages and auto loans. Yep. Shady. A lot of them didn't go. Or they paid fines. That's how they got out of it. Really bad. C, Citigroup. Yeah, it used to be a big company with Umbrella. Yep. Anyway, inside candle for the week, just shy of all-time low for the year. Not good. Yep. So we're ready. There's a low last year. We already took that out really bad. And it's almost coming into this gap, these orange lines. That's not good. Romeo Yankee, Royal Bank of Canada. Slow decline. Yep. Even banks in other countries are struggling. Just like the United States, they have the same thing. They have shareholders looking at the most, the me most amount of money. They might have different regulatory bodies, but they still have the same business model. So it's struggling, likely get fully retested there. Let's go on to the next. Banks regional, not as big as some of the other ones. Well, some of them are bigger, I stand corrected. Here's the high for the year. There's the low for the year. Yep, this week we made a new low for the year and then ran up from 50. Likely it's going to get tested down here. So there's the low of last year, but all this last year was huge consolidation. Yeah, head and shoulder, head, or you wanna call it W or M, sorry, M, there's one line back, the M, the M. So another way to look at this is a failure. High, higher high, failure, hard sell off. That, yep, just not good. Hotel Delta Bravo, huge sell off. Already inside this key exhalation. There's a low for the year, really declining bad. Hotel Delta Bravo, we're looking at a longer duration. From the lows of last year, there it was, already took it out. That hard sell-off, yep, huge. It's interesting. See this huge red candle? How they ran it up for a few days in that week and then mislead people to do unloading, unloading. Whoever was still holding it was getting out of it and letting the weak hands buy into it. Not good. Tango, Foxtrot, Charlie, new low for the year. Yeah, you notice a lot of them new lows for the year, plus a lot of them taking out the lows of the prior year. Are you still seriously buying into some of these? Yeah, there's still people making contributions into them. No, not good. Papa, November, Charlie, new low for the year. Of course, and again, I'm showing you, this is a three-year period, each candle is a week. New low for the year, not good. India, Bravo, November. Well, that's interesting. There's a low for the year. There's a high for the year. So for the past week, Small training range, really small, and took out the higher of there, that green candle. So you see this gray zone I labeled, yellow horizontal line. It may go up there. It may have a sell-off, or it might just collapse here. Again, very weak, very, very weak. Let's look at the volume. 
So it looks like what? Pump and dump. Pump and dump. Yep. Last time big volume was there. See the volume down there? Big volume. Red, big red candle. Big volume. Distribution. Massive selling. Big tail on the top. And these last three candles, higher, high, higher, high, higher, high, lower volume. So again, less buyers. Somebody's unloading it. Not good. Huge sell-off. Big panic. Not good. Foxtrot Romeo Charlie. New low for the year. Wow. Let's take this back longer. There's a low for last year. Wow. Okay, that was the Banks Regional. Another industry failure. So, so far, all three I showed you. Asset management, bank diversified, bank regional, all failures. Let's go to capital markets. Morgan Stanley. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. We took out the high of last week and failed to close above it. And now we're closing more than halfway, well, near the low of the current week. That's bearish and there. So it looks like a bearish pin bar. Want to go lower. Not looking good. Very bad. Look at that. There's the low last year. There was a swing point. I already took that out. Charles Schwab, the company that owns who? TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim. They own a lot of companies, a lot of former brokers. So there's the high, there's the low. Massive consolidation. A lot of whipsaw there. Not looking good. Goldman Sachs. Last week or two weeks ago was the new low. Also there, declining. Not good. There's a low of last year. All this is massive decline. Failure. Bank of Nova Scotia. New low for the year. Massive solace for most of the year. Almost like a double top. Yep. Here's a price target I'm expecting to go down into. There's massive consolidation from last year. So once it starts breaking these swing lows here, just shy of a little bit below 60, has all the space easy to run down there. Not good. India Bravo Kilo Romeo Interactive Brokers. Does anybody use them as a broker or their trading platform? There's the high for the year. There's the low for the year. Massive consolidation in decline. Look at this pattern from last year. It's like an M. So when you look at the M, left shoulder, right shoulder, call that the neck or whatever. A break below there is one place to consider going short, trading short, selling. Right there, that's when it occurred. Bad shape it's in. Romeo, Juliet, Foxtrot, Raymond James Financial. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. It's back up here in acceleration phase for the sellers. A lot of whipsaw this year. A lot of whipsaw. Okay, let's go on to the next. Credit services. So if you have a credit card, not a debit card, but actually an outright debit card, credit card, has your credit limit been reduced or is your interest rate gone higher? Be concerned if that's happening. Visa, red for the week, lower, low, lower, high. Potential area for retest down here. So there we go, lows of last year. They were already taken out prior weeks. It's in a decline, a slow grind down. Discover, Delta Foxtrot Sierra. Green for the week, again, just doing a retest of that. Wow, so last year you can see how these staircase patterns were going up. And when you notice them, the consolidations for longer periods. Never took that out. Yep, this year never took it out. Just more panic selling. A lot of it was going already last year early. Not good. Go on to the next. Oof, insurance, they make a lot of money. A lot of them are regulated by the states. A lot of the insurance companies hire lobbyists and the insurance companies 
want to get their rates approved to be raised higher. So of course they help finance campaigns or favors. So is your insurance going up for anything you have this year, last year, past five years, 10 years? Probably so. Do you have less discretionary income now because you're paying more for insurance? Maybe your property tax is going up too. Alpha India Gough, AIG. That's interesting, all those red candles, small bodies. Looks like distribution, distribution, smart money selling. Someone's getting out of it. Yep. I would not be buying here. It looks like bad news may be coming for the earnings. Sierra Lima Foxtrot, inside candle for the week. Big sloppy consolidation. Hotel India Golf, all time new high for the year. Outstanding. Outstanding. Yep. Just doing a retest of that topping tail and expect a potential sell off here. Papa Foxtrot Golf, inside candle again. Looks like massive distribution. Be interesting. It may not even make it up here. May or may have a fast spike up and fast sell off. It's not looking good. Golf, Sierra, Hotel Delta, just shy of all time low for the new year. Not good. Massive declining since last year. Alpha November, Alpha Tango. I think I need to remove this and replace this. That's looking very suspicious. Yeah, but not so good. There's better ones than this. I just have to uh, do some research and find it. So maybe next time I'll show you this video, I won't include this anymore. But let's take it back a longer duration to look. Yep. Okay, that was the assurance. Go into the life assurance. The other one was the first five assurance that will go to life assurance. MetLife also looks like distribution here. Here's a high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Yep, not looking good. Mike Foxtrot, Charlie, inside candle again. Looks like distribution here. Definitely distribution there. And we'll find out if we even manage to get off these highs. Let's take it back for a three year period. Look at it. Oof, massive consolidation. Papa Romeo uniform. Got it for three years. Yeah, potential retest up here. Alpha, Foxtrot, Lima. Oof, again, it's already in this zone for retesting. That's just retesting. Okay, looking for the opportunity now because it's going to be breaking down, I expect, sometimes. So look for the opportunity to trade short. If you don't know how to short stocks, you can always buy puts. There's a lot of strategy you could do to make money on the decline. Lincoln, November, Charlie, inside candle. Wow, it looks like a terrible year there. Let's take it back for three years. Yep, just consolidation. Papa, Romeo, India, inside candle, lowless. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Massive panic selling. Can't even test that midpoint yet. Let's go on to the next. Oops. And did I already do the mortgage company? Yeah, there we go, right here. So now we're at the mortgage financials. Romeo Kilo Tango. Are you familiar with this one? Rocket Company. Here's the high for the year. All-time new low for the year. A little history on this. If you don't follow business news or if your business news is not good business news, there's plenty of stations out there, not good. Let's take this back. This company did a stock IPO a few years ago. Stock IPO, massive write-up. Mainstream media was pumping it up. A lot of publications, TV, radio, pumping it up. Yep. Gave them favoritism, pumped them up. So now we're all-time low, all-time low since we went to stock IPO. It was a failure at the beginning. A little history on this company, let me let mention again. Originally, this company parent company was Quicken Loans. You ever hear of Quicken Loans? Well, after this company, Rocket, went public, 
they wanted to rebrand themselves. So back in July, July, 2021, Quicken Loans changed his name to Rocket Mortgage. There's many sub stories underneath it. It's a diversified company from uh, several sister companies. But again, look at the history of Quicken Loans. And then you're not surprised this took off, this took place, not good. Uniform Whiskey, Mike Charlie, wow. It's already a penny stock because below $5, a mortgage company, a penny stock, not good. Here's the high year for the year. Here's the low for the year. So real estate, <clears throat> most countries are going all time high, all time high. So why are these mortgage companies losing? Is this the early sign that um, shenanigans are being exposed? I wouldn't be buying these mortgage companies. Mm -mm. Again, below $5, high chance of being delisted or removed to a different exchange. There's many stock exchanges and the prestigious ones easily get removed from Papa, Foxtrot, Sierra, India, Inside Cantle, just shy of all time, all low for the year. Wow. So the low of last year's we already took out, excuse me. I apologize. Whiskey Delta, Inside Cantle, it's doing consolidation here. It looks like it's building a coil. Not looking good. There we are for three years. Again, real estate's going all time high and these mortgage co companies are declining. That's a divergency. It's a single. Uh huh. Hotel Tango Goff Charlie, all time new high for the year. Outstanding. One mortgage company did an all time high for new year. Outstanding. Massive acceleration. Wow. Think there's gonna be new buyers up here? Hmm. Tango, Romeo, Echo, Echo, Lending Tree, old school company. Here's the low for the year, here's the high for the year. Not much price action for the year. But it certainly has been declining for years. If you think the founding fathers would be outraged at the leadership of the current company, not good, not good. Okay going to end here. Thank you for watching this video all the way through and hopefully you click the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate it.